So, who went into slavery on slave ships? We gotta, we gotta take it back, because you gotta learn who you are to God. Then you'll start applying the responsibility. You understand that? That's where your self-worth is. That's why our people out here, but we seen this whole block bugged out. Is this where you're from? But well, watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Bring it out. Because this is the truth. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So in order to harness power as a people, we got to learn to listen. That's but listen to who? Are we going to keep listening to white man Jesus? Are we going to keep listening to Islam that's led us nowhere? Are we going to keep listening to African spirituality that's led us nowhere and we still be a destroyed people? Or are we going to finally listen to our God? That's, that's right. the question you got to ask yourself in this reality. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. There's your responsibility right there. To observe, to do God's commandments. If you want salvation, you got to do something to earn it, correct? That, it, if you want to earn a paycheck, what do you have to do? You got to go to work. God right. says he gave us work to do, but because of slavery and that messed up mindset, our reality, we run away from our responsibility. Bring it out. Read on. Now, what's the, uh, what is the effect of us running away from our responsibility? Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. So when we run away from our responsibility as the children of God, curses come upon us. Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? My brother, what's your name? Kelly. Kelly. Is a curse a good thing? No. No. What would you say? Well, it depends on what you did in your life. So it depends on it. what you did in your life. Yeah. So if I curse you out right now. That's not like a sin or nothing like that's that. Not, that's not like a sin? But am I in a good manner with you? Or no. are we at odds? That's not good. That's not good. So God says when you don't listen to him, he's opposing you. Bring it out. He's he will bring out. wrath upon you. Now, what does this wrath look like? Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall we be in the city. What's going on on this block in the midst of the city? Newport News. What's going on on the block? We saw 10 people running around today. What? How do they look? How do they carry themselves? We got a brother chuckling over here out of his mind. Why? Because our people are cursed in the city. And what, do we, what do most of our people do in the city to cope with the madness we have to deal with? Bring it out. What do our people do? To suit what, what I'm going to ask this. How do our people soothe the reality or the madness that we deal with in the midst of the city? We get high. We out. get drunk. What? We change ourselves. What? We change our identity. We just had a brother up here who says, I'm in the homosexual community. So he's ran away from what God says honorable in a man and woman being in a relationship. Why? Because in the midst of the city, they say it's okay or they used him in that way taking him away from his true manhood and godly nature to stand up and direct his people right. to righteousness. That's what's happening in the midst of our city. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So bad things are happening to the Israelites in the midst of the city. That's right. Read, matter of fact, read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So my brother, uh, you said Kelly, correct? Come up here, Kelly. You about to leave? We talking about reality. I know. Right? Watch this. Come in for a second. I got one last question. If our reality looks like this, what does salvation look like for the black man? For the Hispanic man? For the Native American man? If this is what our reality has turned into by not uh, turning to our God, what does our salvation look like? That's, what's, your, what's your name, brother? What's your name? What's your name? Carlton. If this was our reality, going into slavery on slave ships, being rape, robbed, and murdered, being taken away from our heritage, no longer knowing our identity or our purpose in life, right. what does our salvation look like? Bring it up. Bring it up. That's what you got to ask yourself. We're living in the reality of disobeying God. We're, we're, we're upset at the solutions that God has already given us, but what does salvation look like for the black man? I got to ask that question because that is what will make us change as a people. That's Understanding that's what right. salvation looks like. Read that in Luke 1. What, what, what is your answer to that? What does salvation look like for the black man? Downhill. 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 What do you say? Too good. You said don't look too good. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I don't know. And see, these are the results of the reality tearing us apart. That's right. Destroying our mindset. Go ahead and read. Read that in Proverbs first. Though. Was it 13 to 12? 13 to 12. That's it. 13 and 12. Because what has happened to our people through the institution of slavery, 
the institution of Section 8, the institution of redlining, the institution of the prison system being afflicted upon our people, guess what they've done? They've changed our way of living and they also told us lies that made our hope defer. Read that. Proverbs 13, verse 12. Uh -huh. yeah. Hope deferred. A hope deferred. Guess what our hope should be in? It should be in Christ coming to redeem us. Right. Right. Guess what? Our hope has been deferred because we don't even know what Christ looks like. Yeah. In most black, Hispanic, and Native American churches, Christ looks like this. Yeah. What yeah. hope does a black man have in a white figure? Yeah. 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 But guess what? My brother, one of our brothers earlier today said, well, if they give us, why aren't y'all giving us Handouts like the white man would do. Guess where his hope is? In the white man. He don't look at his brothers and go to the instructions of God to say, let's fix it like God told us to. He's not going to say that. His hope has been deferred so much that he hates the very brothers that came to rescue him. That's real. Hope that's, that's deferred. What we hated, right? Watch this. Make it the that's heart sick. Watch this. Race. You are correct, but guess what? Every race knew that we would have chosen. Yes. That's right. So guess what? In deferring our hope, guess who they taught us to hate? Us. That's yeah. They taught us to hate us. Yeah. But that's a part of our hope being deferred. We should be able to hope in our people and say, we can fix it together as long as we got God in the midst. That's as long as we right. got God's commandments in the midst, we should be able to fix any problem. Read it again. Proverbs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't fix their problems. Yes, we can. The white can. people got our women brainwashing our kids. They watch this, watch kids. this. You said the white woman, the white man, white man, got our black women, uh huh, giving them everything they need, but they won't need us. So watch this. Why don't we stand up as men? You see, look, look at yeah, what you oh, see I around see, you. That's oh, this is a, we are a part of manifesting God's hope amongst our people. That's that's right. what, guess what? If you are destroyed in the mind, you won't even see what's right before you. Read it again. Proverbs 13, verse 12. Go ahead. Hope deferred. A hope deferred. Read. Make it the heart sick. Make it the heart sick so much that you don't even believe in what you're seeing. Bring it out. That's what slavery has done to our mindset. Would you agree, Brother Kelly? We believe in the white man who's destroyed us more than we believe in fixing our neighborhood and getting out of this situation together. Right, that's, that's right. right. Mike is done. All right. Read it again. Proverbs 13, verse 12. Uh-huh. Hope deferred. Uh-huh. Make it the heart sick. So that's why we see our people up and down the sidewalk getting bugged out, drunk, drugged up, drunk, high, out of their mind, and hating their own people. Bring it up. Because Bring it up. their hope has been deferred. But now I go back to my initial question. What does salvation look like? We only act like this because slavery has done a number on our minds. Right. Right. But what does salvation for the black man look like? They ain't teaching salvation to the black man. They just saying everything's good in Jesus. Teach, uh, and you right. got that church right on your block teaching that, and they're deferring your hope. Get Luke one sixty-eight. Read that. Read that. Luke sixty-eight. Read that. Read that. Must be the Lord God of Israel. So there is your nationality. That's, That's right. the nationality right. that took away from you. Right. You are one of the Israelites. Right. 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 Sign, you will be able to find out what tribe you're from. That's right. a sense of identity. Right. With a sense of identity, you have a purpose. That's you right. understand that? Right. So coming back to the Bible, learning right. your identity, that's where your purpose is. That's where your hope is. And guess what? You got your brothers right here rallying around you. Yeah. Just get your life right. Do what? Repentance. Read it again. Let's be the Lord God of Israel. So you, my brother, you, my brother, you are Israelite. Yeah. 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 People went into slavery on slave ships. The name that they stripped away from us is the children of Israel. That's yeah. right. right. For he has visited and redeemed his people. So Christ, in the spirit of this Bible, Christ is visiting and redeeming his people. How? He's showing you your nationality. Showing you where your hope is. And he's going to show you what your salvation looks like. Read on. Yes, right. And have raised up a horn of salvation. That horn of salvation is not a white man. Right. The horn of salvation is Christ. That's the black right. Messiah. That's right. The Messiah looks just like you. That's right. Right. Watch this. You have the spirit in you to be a Messiah for your people. That's That's right. Right. What do you have to do? You got to correct your sin. You got to come out of your sin and rely on the word of God. Read That's right. Right. And have raised up a horn of salvation Read on. for us in the house of his servant. Now, did that say everybody? For us. That's That's right. Right. So is God the God Bring of everybody? Nope. Did he send Christ? For everybody? Bring it out. No. God sent Christ 
to the children of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word.